Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban lifestyle and jungle survival. Today, we're going to look at how to prepare a plastic lighter for survival. First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so to support the channel. Thanks. So the light in question is just your typical plastic lighter, like your big lighter, or in this case, cricket lighter, but it's got a flint wheel, it can strike, and this is something I carry out in the field. It's actually part of my survival pouch when I go out into the jungle. But I wanted to get more functionality out of this lighter to create some kind of a mini survival system with it, just so that it becomes more than just a lighter. I didn't want to add on a ridiculous amount of items, just key essential items that would really bring this simple lighter to the next level. So I put together some items over here. I've got some heat shrink uh, rubber sleeve. This is for electrical cables. I've got some gaffers tape. This is hemp wick covered with beeswax. And I've got some thread. I'm using Kevlar thread. This is braided Kevlar thread, which can be used for cordage, but can also be unbraided uh, to be threaded onto a needle, which I have over here. I've also got a paper clip, which is a very useful item to repair gear, or you could also reshape it uh, as a fishing hook if needed. So I'm going to take a bit from everything and I'm going to try to prep this lighter for survival. And you can do this too. And if you prepare a bunch of lighters at a time, each lighter will cost you less than $2 to prepare. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with a piece of that heat shrinking sleeving. So this has been cut from that long piece of tube. Now the width is about one inch and also the height was just under one inch. Now if you want, you can try to get something slightly larger, maybe 1.25 inches. That will actually, I think, fit better. Again, depending on the size of your lighter. For me, this just fits. Uh, it does take a bit of work, but if I wanted an easier job, I think 1.25 inches would be the perfect fit. So what I have to do is slowly fit this over the head of the lighter. And what I want to do is really to create a waterproof seal around the head of the white lighter. And at the same time, I just want to have a form of protection so that the lever of the lighter cannot be accidentally depressed, which will cause the gas to uh, leak. So let's just push that down over the head of the lighter. Great, I think we're almost there. And then you take a, another lighter or heat gun and you basically just need to heat this heat shrinking tubing. And what we'll do is we'll form fit over the head of the lighter and make it waterproof, sealing it up. And there you have it. That is a nice form fit seal over the head of the lighter. Next up, I'm going to take some of the hemp wick. So I've got the hemp wick. Now, hemp wick is basically going to be act as a wick and I'm going to wrap it around near the top of the lighter. So the idea is when I do use the lighter, I can light and light the end of the wick and then block the lighter so that only the wick burns. This helps to conserve fuel in the lighter, which is a great thing. So you can then use this as a wick to light other kindling or you can use it as a light source if needed. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably measure off about an inch, just like that. Now, the reason is I'm going to be putting duct tape underneath here. Uh, this part of the lighter, the lighter is just under three inches. So I'm just gonna measure that out and have about one inch. And then I'm going to wrap this around the lighter. Notice how I put the end inside so it wraps on itself so that it will not entangle. So there you have it. So the great thing about this hemp wick with the bees wax is a bit sticky. So it sticks to the lighter and doesn't just uh, flop all around. So that's a nice neat package. Now I'm going to take about a foot of duct tape and I'm going to wrap it around the bottom of the lighter. Now right at the end of this duct tape or gaffer's tape, I'm going to put the safety pin as well as the needle right next to it. So this keeps it in place, also safe, uh, so that it won't get poked. And you can see how that just seals up. 
and there you have the safety pin as well as the needle in place held by that gaffer's tape. That's a nice neat package. Now the final thing is to take some Kevlar thread and I'm going to wrap it around the bottom over here. So I've got some uh, Kevlar thread over here. It's probably about three feet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a whipping. Now that means I'm going to form a loop just like that. And I'm going to wrap the thread around like this. Now this will allow me later to thread the other end of the thread through this loop and then pull it down under itself to keep it really secure. And I'll show you what I mean. So here's what I mean. You can see that the loop is still here. I've come to the end of the uh, thread. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to loop or put it into the loop just like that. And then I'm going to pull the original other end and you can see what happens, it actually pulls the thread underneath the coils or the whipping and that now keeps everything nice and neat underneath. And then I can take a pair of scissors and I can just cut that and I get a neat package as well. And there you have it. This is how you prepare a plastic lighter for survival. You've got it watertight. You've got the hemp wick with beeswax as a great wicking system. You have gaffer's tape, which is a great fire extender. And of course, just very useful for survival purposes. The safety pin, the needle, and the Kevlar thread for cordage. So all that in this system, very slim, but very self-contained. And I think uh, this would be great to add to any kind of a survival kit. Now let me know your thoughts and you think there's anything that can be added to this without really making it too big and bulky. I'd love to hear your suggestions in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.